Well, good morning. It's Wednesday morning, and we want to invite you to uh, our service, midweek service. We are doing a class, a Bible class, and uh, boy, we've been having a great time in there. Great, group, yeah. great, people. great group of people, and uh, Pastor Rich is teaching, and he's teaching on uh, uh, who we are in Christ. Praise God. And uh, praise God. We he's need to get that identity. He's teaching what he taught at Raymond. Yes, he is. Now, yes, so, he is. Yeah. So it be ought, ought to be really good. Uh, that's at 6 o'clock, by the way, 6 to 7 o'clock, praise yes. God. Well, today our devotion is on, again, the greatness of salvation and that it is the work of God's grace. You know, we've all week long we've been talking about salvation. Yes, we and have. it's so important yeah. because not only we appreciate our salvation, but we need to be sharing so that other people can come to yes. Christ. Yeah. You know, I read a story, Marcia, not too long ago about uh, uh, G. Campbell Morgan. G. Campbell Morgan was a, a preacher in England uh, in the 1800s, and he had been preaching in this revival. And uh, in that day, those days, they did a lot of mining of coal, stuff like that. And there was a, a, a man, a coal miner, who came to the service. And, uh, and, and, um, and Brother Campbell was preaching on the, the grace of God. And, and uh, you know, you you the price he's already paid the price and everything like that and um and the man came forward and he said I, I want to get saved he said but he said it seems to me that you make the the salvation cheap that it doesn't cost anything and and uh, brother Campbell was kind of taken back by that for a moment and he said well now you work in the mine don't you you know and he goes yes and he said uh, when you've worked down there all day long how do you get out of that mine and he goes, well, they let this basket down, and we get in this basket, and they pull us up. And he said, do you trust that basket? Oh, yes, yeah. said, I've been in that basket many times. He said, who paid for that basket? Did you pay? Did you give them something to, to get onto that basket? He said, no, the company paid for that. He said, that's exactly <laughs> what happens in salvation. God has already paid the price for you to get in that basket, for by his grace, you are saved, oh, that's a that good not story. of yourself. Good I love that. You know, I could see that visually. And so we want to talk a little bit today about saving grace and what saving grace is. Amen. First Peter 1 Peter 1.10 says, concerning this salvation, the prophets who spoke of grace that was to come to you, they, they, they experienced a little bit of grace, but not the grace that we experience today. Amen. So what's the first one, Marcia, there? The first one we say and, uh, is grace is de defined as the unmerited favor of Amen. God. Amen. Amen. And salvation is uh, just given to you, you know, in our women's Bible study, we're studying grace and faith. Yes. Grace, you have to apprehend or go for the grace of God. Yeah. And this is, it's given to you, but you still by faith have to reach out and grab hold of it. Yeah. And by doing that, that's how you get saved. Amen. And it said, the scripture says that. Yes. It's, uh, uh, by grace and faith are you saved. Amen. Right. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, for it is by grace that you've been saved through faith and that not of yourself. In other words, you didn't produce the grace. You didn't uh, get it. You, you don't, you don't deserve the That's grace, right. but it he is, does it anyway. Yeah, he says it's a gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. Right. You know, nothing so. you can do Absolutely. Outside of accepting Christ. That, the only thing you do is by faith accept Him. Amen. Amen. Secondly, grace is given regardless of our sins or even in spite of our sin. In Romans 5.8, I love Romans 5.8. It says, but God demonstrated His own love for us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. In other words, uh, we didn't do anything to earn that. No. He died for us even before... Uh, well, really, even before we were born, you right. know, I mean, yeah. He died 2,000 years right. ago for every person on this earth to get born again. You know, uh, we used to preach on Romans, the third chapter, and we talk about sin, you know, for... Uh, for all have sinned to come short of the glory of God. But we forgot to go back and read the rest of that part there in that heart of Romans 3, uh -huh. where it says that it is it really is talking about the grace of God and what the grace of God has done. No, it's not. Yes, you are a sinner. No, it's not by something that you do that you get saved. You receive the gift of God uh, in that. James 2.23 says, And the scripture was fulfilled that says, Abraham believed God, and it was counted uh, credited unto him 
for, uh, uh, for righteousness, and he was called a friend of God. Abraham actually was saved by grace. Even though he, even though he didn't understand what grace was, yeah. because it says, grace was still here on this earth in the Old Testament. God, God has grace. always had grace. Yeah. God, God never changes, right? Amen. Oh, God always has grace. But you know what? Grace entails most so much more than yeah. just our salvation. Oh yes, absolutely. Grace is our healing, healing our our empowerment. Finding, uh, pro prosperity, our uh, empowerment. Yes. Like you said, His grace overcomes. Everything that the enemy would come yes. against us with. Yeah. And we've not done anything. Yeah. We've gotten in the basket. That really, yeah. that's what we've we done. We just got in the basket. We just got in the basket. Going up. Yeah. All right. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Well, God bless you. We want you to get a hold of that. The grace of God, amen, is, is uh, important for our understanding in our life. Mm -hmm. God bless you. See you tomorrow.